Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Smitty here, and uh, we're outside today. Yeah, imagine that. Not too bad of a not too bad of a shabby day. Get some clouds going on, and my nasty old roof that's uh, getting ready to get replaced. Uh, it's supposed to be sometime this week. Anyway. What I'm working on today, and you guys are probably wondering, well, when is it going to come out with a, a Camaro video or a Scarlet video or some other transmission video or something like that? And I want to explain why. It's called projects. It's it's called it's called being being a homeowner, being life, and and everything else that gets involved and gets in the middle. You know, it is it's just it is what it is. So behind me, as you can see, uh, this is, and my wife is laughing at me, uh, this is our 2005 uh, Cedar Creek Silverback. Um, we've had it new since 2006. It was a leftover. And... Uh, this camper's been really good to us. We love to camp, but it's in need of some love for sure. Um, we're trying to get everything done on it, but it, the biggest thing is we we ran into a snag over here on the side. And yes, this is the redneck repair that we, we had to do to try to get it home, but it's not the greatest. Obviously, it didn't work real well. But this is what they call uh, like Luan. It's uh, usually it's white on one side and it's made out of wood and flexible. And as you see, it's got insulation up in there. But what happened is it looks like this molding here broke the seal because there's nothing holding it on. There is, and I'll, have, I'll get this, well, here, I can get a piece of this out. That's all rotten wood. Now, this uh, structure on this is made of aluminum, so um, it, they just use wood to attach some of the panels, which was a brilliant idea, obviously, because what happened is once the water got behind the seal, it got on that wood, and of course the wood never dried out so it just rotted and it's nothing but paper hey, you can see one of the small screws right here that's sticking up it's supposed to help hold this up and uh, when you get going down the road and of course the wind would catch it and rain and everything else and it would start pulling it down so I need to take and unscrew this this whole molding here get all these screws out all the way down I'm gonna try to do it I don't think I'm gonna have much luck but I was gonna try to do it without taking the whole thing apart which I don't think it's gonna be possible more than likely I'm gonna end up having to replace this whole piece but um, it needs I need to go around and recalk everything like I said everything's original so this has just got some coating on it. That used to be the VIN sticker. Um, it's seen its better days from the sun. And it seems like since we got down here in Florida, uh, it just, the sun just beat this poor thing up. Um, as you can see, it's really filthy. Uh, I do wash it, but you can't hardly keep it you can't hardly keep it from getting mold on it. I've got a uh, I've got a guy gonna come over and help me get on the roof up there because um, I think that I have way too much to get on there and I'd probably go through the roof. So I've got some scrawny kid gonna come over and help me. And I'm just trying to get it to the point where we can camp with it again. Uh, 
we do use it on a normal basis, but um, well, we used to anyway. And last time we camped with last year, and it was pushing it. And uh, here's why. If you look at these tires, this one's not so bad, but the ones on the other side, I'll show you on the other side. But things need to be repaired, like this electrical box cover or plug cover. It's seen its better days. Oops, hopefully you didn't see that. Like the clear coat's peeling off of this dude. And uh, that refrigerator vent cover is broken on the back side. Like I said, all the caulking just needs to be redone. You can see this, all the cracking on this, this tail light here. You know, this, this mold is just out of control. This side's really worse. It's the side that faces north most of the time. You can see around this window how bad it is. The, uh, the poor awning's done. I have one of these arms bent. We got in a storm and one of the arms bent on it. So we've got to, I've got a replacement arm. I just haven't pulled it out to do it. And the worst part is, is I don't see the pull handle. There's supposed to be a pull handle up there and it has somehow disappeared. So that's going to be interesting trying to get that out. But the, the fabric needs to be replaced anyway. Um, this is a 28 foot, which is what the 28 LRGFS means. Um, here I can show you on these tires. Um, if you look real close, they've got, not that close. They've got some dry checking on them pretty bad they're getting dried out and this one's pretty thin there should be a wear bar in there yeah right there and it's got about 330 seconds we lost a uh, fender skirt on our last camping trip well maybe it was the one behind but all you know all they do is they put these little sheet metal self self drilling sheet metal screws in there and uh they just loosen up over time and again the wind caught it going down the highway and i didn't see it and it ripped it right off of there so i got to get another one of those and i think that that fender skirt i'd looked up and it was somewhere around 170 bucks which is outlandish and then uh yours truly let me back up Yeah, you can see it up there. The uh, the air conditioner right there, as you can see, the back part of the shroud's missing. And what happened is we had gotten a rainstorm here, and I usually park it around back, back over there. And uh, the last rainstorm, of course, made all the branches sag, and it was low enough to where it caught one of the trees and ripped the shroud out there. The air conditioner still works fine but it needs a new shroud cover. And lo and behold, with everything going on, it's now back ordered. And uh, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get one. So, but that's the old girl. Um, also the stairs broke years ago, the welds broke that hold the, the stairs on. So had a buddy of mine, when we were still up north, that's when it happened. I had him uh, build me a set of stairs just as something to get in and out of the camper and they work great they're not too heavy i mean i usually pick it up and move it um something else i noticed is the uh, the landing gear if you look at the landing gear the one on the left is down further than the one on the right 
so I don't know how they got out of time, but that's something else I'm going to have to fix. So, <clears throat> at any rate, uh, you can see going, looking down the side, how dirty this thing is. But it's hard to keep up with everything, y'all. It really is. And I don't have an under, I don't have any place to store this other than here at the house. And I really don't feel like paying a storage facility. I would love to replace this. And in fact, I've been looking at them. And trying to find something that you really like. Because once you've had a couple of these, you realize the things that you really want and the things that you don't want. Um, I plan on wanting, I do want to camp a lot more and so does the wife. I'd like to eventually do this full time. That'd be a blast. Of course that, you know, it may come with some sacrifices too. So <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. But so I've been looking at some different campers and I've narrowed it down to about three or four different manufacturers. And I also got some Super C's that I looked at and I, I've told you all about in my live streams. Um, I've looked at um, uh, some Jayco Senecas. Uh, they also make the Gulfstream Endura. They're built on the Kodiak chassis, C5500. Uh, most of them have got Duramax in them. You can get one with an 8.1. And I don't have a problem with an 8.1. They got a 30 foot with an 8.1 in it that would be great. Uh, but the ones I've been looking at is Jayco Seneca 35 GS, which is a 35 footer. Excuse me, it's got three slides in it. And uh, it's pretty badass. But I'm not convinced I want a driver yet. Um, for one, you have to tow a vehicle behind it if you get a driver. And the. Uh, Old Bessie's a good car, but it's all-wheel drive and can't be driven, not, can't be towed on the ground. The Honda's an all-wheel drive, can't be towed. It's on all-wheel drive. It's on the ground. Um, so either way, either one of them, I'd have to to um, trailer tow it. And uh, so then you got an expensive trailer and maintenance on the trailer although i've got the enclosed one it's it, you know it wouldn't be a big deal and it'd be kind of a cool deal because i could put uh my tools in in there and you know i could do you know side jobs for people while while we're out out and about camping which that'd be pretty cool but then all that my my poor truck just sits back here and sits so I'd really like to find another fifth wheel. Um, plus, you get some better options as far as things that you want. One thing that you want to, and I want to show you this. This is one thing that you want to look. If you're ever looking for a camper, some things to consider when you get a slide. Walk up in here. Now, it's pretty nice and cool in here as it was cool last night so as you can see we got our plunder in here and I just keep my bike in here for now um, this is a this is a hide a bed and of course you get the the uh, conventional table four chairs you got an L shaped kitchen in the rear which I like but if you notice behind that there's the refrigerator the problem is, is you can't get to the refrigerator with a slide in. That's an issue if you're traveling for distances, if you can't get to the fridge, because, I mean, you're going to save yourself. The idea of traveling or, or bringing your camper and your possessions with you is to, is to be able to get to your food and, and uh, drinks and stuff like that without having to buy it out, outside. Well, sometimes when you're in a fifth wheel, you don't have any place you can stop where you can open a slide easily and get what you need and close the slide back up. So, 
one thing you got to think of is when you look for a new camper uh, is looking for one that you can get to two things two things one is the bathroom and two is the fridge this one I can't get to the fridge can get to the bathroom because the bathroom's right there and you know that's the upstairs now I got an aftermarket mattress to stick up in there because the the factory one was terrible the problem with that is, is it's a regular size queen so it's too long so it makes it a son of a buck to get around uh, something else that you got to consider when you're a big guy like me these corner showers don't cut it they just don't uh, I mean yeah I can take a shower in it but see this one's got a stair in it or a uh, seat it's got a seat in it which actually is kind of in the way if the seat wasn't there, it probably wouldn't be too bad, but that's a problem. Um, but as far as the camper's concerned, it's a great camper. It really is. It's been, I mean, they put the fart fan in the right place, in the, in the toilet. So, you know, you take a nasty, nasty, uh, dump there you've got to uh, get some way to get rid of the stench um i got my uh my fan that the blade started sagging so bad from the humidity that we had to get some new ones i haven't put it back on so we just got two blades on it now i gotta get some screws for the other one but uh yeah so we'll move this slide out here all right so now that you got the uh the slide out you know it gives you quite a bit of room and of course we've had dogs and one of them had about a uh, problem with her bladder she's gotten better but the poor carpet's stained and that's from her um haven't replaced it yet something we need to do um it just like i said we had to live in this for a year um, the, the fridge is an issue also on this fridge when you turn it on you got the auto and it should switch to gas although it's not going to because the gas is turned off it see it switched to gas but the gas is not on so eventually the check light will come on but when it's on AC current that check light will come on all the time because the inverter is bad. So the fridge does work. We haven't even hardly, I think I used the burner on the stove once or twice, but, uh, and we've used the oven way more than a couple of times. Microwave works good. But, you know, like I said, this, this camper's what uh well 15 or 05 so the 22s are out uh, so this this camper is man my math is not working 17 years old so it's like i said it's i would like to replace it but it's not a necessity if I can get this thing back up to going and back up to snuff to where we can get maybe another year or two out of it, you know, just all depends. Um, that'd be good too. So anyway, I've rattled on enough about this. Got one more thing to show you. All right, so the last thing I wanted to show you is this thing from the factory. I know that sticker's kind of bad, but it's got Owens Gel, Owens gel, court, gel Coat exterior. 
Well, that was a mouthful. Um, which basically means the gel coat's kind of like a boat. Um, you know, it's super smooth and uh, shiny. But uh, it, uh, it's, like I said, it's, it's had some wear and tear on it. So I talked to the guy that's the detail guy at, at our shop. And uh, he told me about this stuff that they use that he swore by it. And I said, well, how much is it? And he says, it's about 60 bucks a bottle. I'm like, holy shnikes. It's a quart bottle though. So, I mean, it'll last a while, but this is what it is. Liquid ice says it's advanced, advanced polishing system. Uh, this stuff I am so impressed with made by Norton um, I took my polisher to a little section as you can see up close how bad it actually is how much crap is now I believe me I cleaned off a spot before I did this but if you look down the side of this camper do you, do you notice the spot that I cleaned? I mean, that stuff is fantastic. You can actually see yourself in this, in this section right here. You look at my fingers alongside of it, you can see the reflection of my fingers. Um, I did another little section on the back here. Right there along the edge. I mean, you can see how much shinier it is right here. And you can actually see me as a reflection in the in the back of this thing. And we get out in the sun. Which that's what it did when it was new. I mean it shined like a like a new penny. And you can see up above it's just it's bad. So You know there is some there is some hope for this thing that it get it cleaned up pretty good. It's just going to take a little bit of elbow grease. So that's all I got for you today. Uh, so I know it's not car contact, but that 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 explains you know what we got going on. So um, just stay tuned for the next video. Who knows what it'll be? It might might surprise you. So. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. God bless you and God bless America. We'll see y'all. Bye-bye.